it is time to finally begin the new adventure. Welcome everyone, Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. I hope you all enjoy. I know I'm going to. Why do I get stuck on the weak team? We're just going to lose. Where's the fun in that? Hey, Mute. Where's your little bear today? Oh, he didn't want his precious bear to get wet in the snow. Nah, did your mommy give you the bear? But yeah, bullies again, so... You know, we don't like bullies. Gender discrimination, and I know some little girls can kick your butt. What's your problem? You don't want to be on the team, right? How about we switch? Would that be better? Let's start already. You should speak up. Tell them your name, at least. You can't be the new kid forever. So, we get to choose our name. Default name is Marsh. But... My name's not Marsh. My name's Kane. Our name is Kane Clemens. Sorry, Kane. You don't have to apologize. Mute. Mute. I like his name. Mute. You haven't done anything wrong. Oh, Mr. Leslie. We're ready to go. Alright. Let's get the snowball fight started. So this is kind of the battle tutorial. They use the same mechanics as an archer later on. So this play the town's name is Saint Ivelis or Ivelis. Either way you want to say it is fine. It's much warmer where you're from. Uh never snowed. This is practically my first snowball fight. Really? Then let's give you some pointers. Ritz, can you help us out? So the red haired girl's name is Ritz. So we got Kane, Ritz, and Mute. People with the highest speed move first. Once your turn comes around, you can move. You can only go a certain distance. If you want to go back, you press the B button whenever you're moving. And if you don't attack yet, you can press B to take your move back. So you see she moves a couple spots. Now that you're in position, you can throw the snowball. Choose snowball from the action menu. Green colored panels show the range. Where you want to aim within the range. If no one from the other team is in range, just wait. That's another bit. Alright. And she's going to throw a snowball. <clears throat> So, pretty much it's saying that if you're attacking from the front, your attack chance is way lower than if you were to attack from the sides or from behind. So yes, we understand. Oh shit. I'm gonna cut this out. I'll be right back. We're back. <laughs> Let's not hit yes again. Yeah, I think so. Thanks, Ritz and Mr. Leslie. Let's get back to the snowball fight. Good luck. Alright, here we go. Our very first snowball fight. You can see help for any game command. To view, choose a command and press select. So it'll tell you what it does. So here you can move. Which action you want to take. Snowball, you throw a snowball. No rocks, please. So we saw Ritz moved here last time, but let's move all the way up here. And we'll choose the snowball to attack Guinness. So we see we have a 75% chance to hit. Let's throw the ball. And we deal the one damage. Yeah, you can see how well this is going to go. Mute only has 8 health. Oh boy, Colin up. Uh, 
If you rapidly press the A or B button while someone else's um, turn is going, you can speed up their actions or their action time. So we are attacking Guinness before, let's keep doing that. So action, snowball, 75%, let's do it. Critical for one damage. But there's another mechanic, criticals. If you hit a critical from a certain direction, it can push them away. And there's also certain things, and we see right here, 50% because I'm attacking from the front. But, um... Yeah, I figured that would miss. There will be different kinds of attacks and whatnot later on in the game where you do have the actual blowback, like, feel to it. So, that'll be really nice. Uh, you were who we were attacking, so let's keep doing that. Snowball again. 88%. And the way you move, or the way at the end of the, your turn, you can choose which direction you want to face and whatnot. That comes in handy as well. Like, right now I'm facing the girl in front of me. She would have to move to either side of me, but if I do this, she can't get me. No running away, Mute! But that's what Mute does best. Fucking dicks. What? We're not breaking any rules. Sure, you've been aiming at Mute the whole time. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. See, he says he's fine. What's the problem? He knows you'd pick on him worse if he said anything else. Your forehead is bleeding. There was a rock in the snowball. Uh-oh. God, what a dick. And we got to get points, right? So the end justifies the means. You guys are horrible. Yeah, they are. Yeah, her hair is naturally just white. Behave yourselves. Snowball fight is over. Lyle, Colin, Guinness, I want you to come with me. Mute, how's your forehead? It's okay, I'm fine. Really. That's it for class today. The rest of you can go home. So, I'm not going to be reading everything that comes up. Um, I can't stand bullies who pick on little kids yet. Yeah, neither can I. I mean, when I was back in high school, there was a kid in my grade who was always picked on. I mean, he was a special needs, but I still hated the fact that they picked on him so damn much. Hell, I've gotten into a lot of fights because of it. Uh, something he was born with. We have to take him to the hospital every now and then. <clears throat> But we'll get a little further here before we do a cutoff. Why don't you bring it over to my house? I'm sure Don. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh boy. Don's my brother would love to see it. Well, if you're sure, it's okay. Absolutely. Why don't you come too, Ritz? Um, no, um, gee. <laughs> you two know where my house is. It's the yellow one. I'll come over as soon as I buy the book. I'll be waiting. I'm really sorry. Uh-oh. I'm really, really sorry. Please accept my apologies. 
Mr. Randall, we expect a certain level of performance, regardless of circumstances. It won't happen again. I always liked giving him that kind of rough and gruff voice. It really suits his face. I'll fix things up here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for waiting, shall we? Alright, they're gonna head off. Ooh. Mute, mute, it, it is you. Hi, Dad. School's out already, huh? Yeah. These your friends? Yeah. Don't you still have work to do? Yeah, busy, busy, busy. You keep an eye on mute for me? Of course we will, for now. Uh, he used to work for a bigger company. When mom died, he stopped ca caring. He seems nice. Many parents talk to their kids like that. Um, yeah. Well, we'll be waiting for you back at my place. I think this is a pretty good spot to kind of leave off. Um, uh, what? I guess your family has its problems too, but I heard Kane doesn't have a dad. But yeah, how about we leave it off right here? So next time, we'll continue.